When I was pregnant, I craved a lot of cheese, whether this mac and cheese with broccoli, garlic on it as well. So we'll see if I like it just as much as I did years ago. We've got our bowl of cereal here, but I don't really think you can see it all that well. It's got these clusters in it and stuff like that, so let's try it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and seeing some of my pregnancy cravings that I had when I was pregnant. I don't like the way you are looking. try not to get a stain challenge. So mm -hmm. we're wearing the appropriate shirts and today we do have, some. we're gonna right. see who can try not to get a stain first. Whenever you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Just trying to avoid stains. Mm -hmm. mm. When it comes to nachos, I love ground beef. Mm. Mango or peach, yep. You did that, I find it really good. It reminds me of that one yeah, it's a mango habanero sauce, you know? Mm-hmm. But it's not mango habanero. And these are really, really good. I know. You did a good job with these. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Oops. Yep. Yeah, well, they're too eager there, sweetie. Well, I already lost. Mm-hmm. Huh? Oh, yeah. There's still a chance it could be a tie. <laughs> yeah, this. The guacamole is good. Let's see it. Definitely sour cream. And of course, cheese. It's gotta be cheese. But I typically don't. Yeah, it's a bad thing. <laughs> well, it can and can't. We have a winner! Yay! Good job, sweetie. Good job. Mm -hmm.
Hi fellow birdies, birdies and welcome back to another edition of Songbird Deans. Now again for a while, ranch. Yes, ranch flavored ice cream. We have sweet maple cornbread, ranch, black dot orange chocolate chip, and lemon lemon salt, lemon chocolate. Okay. Hmm. So let's try it out. All right. So here we go. Bon appetit. You know, I've never had a lemon chocolate before. Supposed to be some sort of fun cake. This is definitely very funny. It reminds me of that lemon supreme pound cake my grandma used to make. It's like the lemon. It's definitely there. And um, kind of apricot or something. It, it, this reminds me of like a little supreme cake. I love those. It's definitely, you know, I want to say creamy. You can really taste it. It's kind of like, you know, mm -hmm. you know, you know, then, you know, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, the next thing we're going to do is orange, 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 orange. All orange. <laughs> right. Now, this is not bad, but like, it's not very exciting to me. It's good, but it's not the kind of exciting ice cream you'd be looking for. This is what it looks like. And smell that. That's Have heaven. That is before? heavenly. Cheers. Cheers. Now let's go with smoke. Mm. Mm. Maybe too much sweetness to some, but heck, to us, it's, um, it's perfect. I'm giving this a 10. Oh Out my 10. god. It's amazing. I want to have it more. Birdies, and welcome back to another edition of Songbirds Eating Show. This is the Fanta Frozen Kicking Mango, hmm. a tongue twister, and citrus flavors kicked up with a touch of spicy chili flavor. That's more. Yeah, I'm just not getting it. Like, what the people were doing stuff is that it left you a cool feeling, but also at the same time, it kind of had like a bit of a, a heat to it. Look at the bag, it's kind of like some liquid. Isn't that great? But the seasoning is really good. Mm. I'm going to just put it in the side of Lex's leg. Mm -hmm. Oh, the marinara sauce. Sauce on there, like, I don't see any marinara sauce. So, for what's worth eating without the marinara sauce, it's pretty darn good. I definitely, maybe it would have been worse with the marinara sauce. I think it's fine without it, honestly. Okay, I'm going to taste it. 